Sure. Just for those that want to yeah. spell it. Yeah, my name is Matt Bellantoni. Uh, I'm a resident of Norwalk, Connecticut. And we came down to the inauguration to support Donald Trump's presidency. Uh, and it's really interesting, in most of the news uh, outlets we've viewed, um, it talks a lot about protesters and discord and animosity, but uh, the atmosphere here has been really peaceful. Uh, people really seem to be coming together, and uh, it's a great day, so happy to be here. One of the things we're asking people about is, you know, what kind of media do you kind of rely on and trust? And media is not just news, you know, or television. Sure. There's, there's, there's a lot of sources out there as far as the internet and social media. Yeah, I, I've found the most accessible media at this point, and I find for most of my friends and generation, is YouTube. It's a little more, um, you know, you find, it's less biased, I'd find. There's no narrative, and you can really source your own content, obviously check your sources, but at the same time, uh, you know that it's people out there trying to voice their opinion, and it's good to get as many opinions as possible. And, you know, you take everything with a grain of salt. But um, at this point, I think we've all found that the mainstream media has an agenda, and uh, that's not always in the best interest of its viewers. So, it's always good to get third source. Yeah. Are, are there like certain like uh, personalities on YouTube that you follow? Yeah, I mean there are certainly channels, um, and depending on what type of content you're looking for, uh, they they tend to have their own narratives as well. But it's kind of like going down the rabbit hole a little bit. You start following uh, one channel, and they'll lead you to another, and so, sooner or later, you know you can find some good content. But uh, it's definitely a little bit more. Um, I don't know how to say it, but. You can find what you're truthful. interested in. Truthful, be a little truthful. more truthful than what we see in the mainstream. No, you can keep going. It's no. fine. I just no. want to help you out there with your little word. Sure. And also, I mean, the, the, like being able to—it's like there's instant ratings for everything. You know? Yeah. You can see how many times it's been viewed. You can see. You can kind of see. It's like looking at Yelp reviews or something. It's like, okay, this many people have seen this. Yeah, and there, there's a there's a That's forum. A good starting point. It's yeah, they're a little more authentic because they're not constrained by someone, a boss or someone telling them what to say. You know, they have their own outlet to portray, the, uh, portray their own views or whatever. You know. And so, um, do, do, do you see? Uh, do you think there's any way to um, take the credibility that you see from YouTube and apply that? <laughs> Um, either through method or through message to the mainstream media? Is there a way to salvage the mainstream media? Uh, you know, I think they're so um, concerned with their corporate interests that are backing them that you'll never really have that free media uh, that I think so many people expect the press to represent. Um, but certainly, I think it's a bit of a movement, and it's probably representative in the whole Trump election that people are tired of hearing what um, the media says that they need to hear, and people are starting to form their own opinions, and it was obvious that people came out in the poll and, and voiced theirs, so, yeah. Um, one other thing that we're asking people just to kind of get a, you know, a, a kind of across the board level of, of uh, people's feelings about today, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very, like, big occasion. It's cool to be here. Have you guys have been doing the inauguration? First, yeah, first time, yeah. Um, we're, we're asking everybody, what what does it mean to be an American to you? Like what is what is that? What in, you know, either through metaphor. Or sure. Through, you know. uh, I think it's just um, being loyal to your country and respecting what it represents and the sacrifices that so many people made to get us where we are today. And anybody that tries to tear us apart, uh, you know, isn't in the the interest of serving our country. And I think that's really what's so disappointing about that li that liberal media, which people reference. Um, they're not interested in resolution, they're interested in conflict. And the atmosphere here today would say the exact opposite, so. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, appreciate it. <laughs> Great job there, dude. No, I don't want to speak after that. No, 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 no.